Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing my empties and as you can see, we do have quite a bit of products to go through. So if you're interested in seeing what I used up uh, throughout the month, then just keep on watching. Okay you guys, I have used an absolute shit ton of makeup and skincare so I am going to start with the skincare first but I'm just gonna kind of rush through it because it might not seem like it but there is a lot of stuff so I used up four serums two of them are kind of little um, packet samples so I used up the timeless truth mask moisturizing perfecting serum with moss extract I've used this before. I do really enjoy it. It's a very runny sort of consistency. Uh, it works very nicely under makeup. It doesn't peel. So, you know, it's actually quite a nice serum. Then I used up the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Charlotte's Magic Serum. This is crystal infused serum for younger looking miracle skin. This was nice. Once again, uh, this sample actually lasted me for two times. So that's not too bad. Is it something that I would repurchase? Uh, probably not because I can probably get like a, um, good molecules, the ordinary or the inkillist serum for a lot cheaper that work basically in the same way. So yeah, that is a no from me. I also used up this Morning Expert Hyaluronic uh, Serum from This Works. This was really nice. Uh, this is with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Surprisingly, the hyaluronic acid did not peel on me. So that was a plus. I did really enjoy it. I wouldn't mind having it in my collection again. Then I used up this Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Serum. I really enjoy it. I'm still using another little teeny sample that I have. Um, it's a really, really good serum. Again, kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one though. I probably wouldn't spend the money on it. But if I have it in my collection, I'm not going to be, you know, mad about it because it's a really, really nice serum. Okay, then I used up four sheet masks. I used up the Shank Pre uh, Calming Mask. It was nice. It was a sheet mask. What can I say? The CBD... Uh, uh, beauty pro cbd oil infused a uh, mask that was really nice as well very hydrating i used up the timeless truth apple collagen mask super regenerating enjoyed that and then i also used another timeless truth mask this is the triple effect hyaluronic acid ultra, ultra moisturizing mask i do really enjoy these um timeless truth masks they're very hydrating they're easily accept accessible uh, via beauty bell so you know if i were ever to purchase uh, sheet masks myself it would probably be the timeless truth ones because they are so so easily accessible okay i used up one moisturizer from what i can see yes this is the comfort zone a hydro memory cream gel 24 hour double hydration cream gel this is the uh, um, the moisturizer that i took with me to ibiza I uh, used it all up. It was a really nice kind of lightweight uh, moisturizer. I was mixing this one with uh, the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion because this one has SPF in it. This one didn't. So yeah, it, it was a nice um, moisturizer, like um, kind of first step moisturizer. It wasn't as hydrating as you would probably need it to be. But if you have oily skin, then it might actually work for you because of how lightweight it is. Then I used up the Dr. Botanicals Pomegranate Superfood Regener Regenerating Sleeping Mask. I used to like this. Not anymore. I don't find this working that well. For me, it's just, it's just a hassle. Uh, don't like that. I also used up the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel Eye Cream. Love this. Would highly, highly recommend it. You get so much product you actually squeeze out so much of it like you get the last last little bit out of it because of the packaging that it is it's in this metal sort of tube beautiful uh, if this was more easily accessible like maybe on beauty bay or somewhere else i don't care uh, i would definitely repurchase but this is available on beautylish and beautylish is us based which means that i would have to pay customs in order to get this into ireland so yeah i might be looking into purchasing something from good molecules like a big haul um and then this would probably be in that haul because 
I enjoy this so much. It's a gel, but it's a very, very hydrating gel. And uh, the next thing I use, actually another eye cream. This is the Avant Pro Radiance Brightening Eye Final Touch. It was just okay, just an okay eye cream. And most of the things from Avant are just fine and they're freaking expensive. I also used up the Soap Room Hydrating Face Serum. This is not a serum, this is an oil. That's why I didn't categorize it with the other serums. Uh, it has the consistency of a serum. It smells like a serum. It feels like a serum. Oh, what am I saying? It has the consistency of an oil. It feels like an oil. It acts like an oil. So I'm just going to call it an oil. Enjoyed that. I really, really did, especially at night because it kind of gave my, um, my face a little bit of a, you know, boost of hydration enjoyed that uh, then I also used up the timeless truth mask vitalizing pre mask mist this is really nice it's a little bit of a gimmick you're supposed to spray it before you apply a mask like a sheet mask and then you know it would help all those ingredients kind of um, here or you know sink into your skin better it's it, it it's a nice mist, but I don't know if it works like that. You know, it, it was a fine product to to try out, but it's not necessarily anything that um, I need in my collection. And then I also used up the Balance Me Pre and Probiotic Cleansing Milk. Really nice to remove makeup. Did not mind that at all. In terms of hair care, I, I only have two things. Uh, so this is the Philip Kingsley uh, Finishing Touch Polishing Serum. So I would use this every time I would wash my hair, kind of just here at the end. It would make my hair feel very, very smooth. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. It was a really good kind of finishing serum. Enjoyed that. And then I also... What is this? And then I also used up uh, Il... Formula Paris New York sampler kit. So here we have a shampoo, conditioner, and a uh, finishing serum. So uh, this is something that I received from Claire from Americas, and you know it came in packets like this. This is what I brought with me to Ibiza to kind of, you know, use to wash my hair. Um, I did really enjoy uh, all of these three things. It was a really good kind of sampler kit. Now, I don't know where to get this, nor am I interested, to be honest, because I love Clarine and Garnier uh, so much that I don't think I would stray into the high-end um, side of things when it comes to hair care. Unless it's Olaplex, then I might. But if it's not Olaplex, then probably not. Let's talk some random miscellaneous stuff. I used up this nail polish remover acetone free from uh, Little. I use this on my toes and sometimes when I have um, just normal nail polish rather than gel polish on my nails. Now, look at these nails. How freaking outgrown are they? Now, I don't want to do another set because um, I'm actually leaving for Italy on the 10th of December. So I kind of want to make them as long as I can. But it's the 10th of December. Today's the 18th when I am filming this. So I think I might have to do another set before I leave for Italy. Uh, so yeah, because these are so, so outgrown. Some of them are kind of lifting up already so I definitely should anyway I use this cheap you can get it in a little um and yeah that's it I just always kind of have it in my stash <laughs> uh then I also use up the Sanix Invisible uh Pro pH uh, Balance Antiperspirant I did not enjoy this honestly it didn't seem to work very well I do like the Nivea black and white that one worked very well and right now i'm using the mitchum uh roll-on now i was inspired to buy the mitchum because of sophie alexandra i will leave her channel linked down below she uses the stick and she said it works so well but i said i prefer like a roll-on so i might as well just try the roll-on first but it doesn't seem to work as nicely as i would imagine so maybe for next time i will actually buy the stick because that seemed to be bulletproof you know so yeah this one fine i would not repurchase i also used up a perfume ah oh, this is the Giorgio romani si passione i freaking love this mm. this is a very fruity and a florally scent but it's warm it's sophisticated 
like i usually don't like very kind of grown up and you know warm kind of scents but this i freaking love oh there's still so, a little bit left now i have a little mini that i am savoring as well when i run out of that mini i'll definitely uh, consider purchasing this because it is an absolutely beautiful beautiful fragrance now um my fiance bought this on a whim because i had it in my kind of wish list um as something to try to smell you know to kind of sniff and he just bought the full size without realizing that i didn't even know how it smelled but from what i read online and from what kathleen lights has described i knew that i'm gonna love it and i do i really enjoy it oh it's so so nice i will leave maybe the notes here on the side so that it gives you an idea but it's a very kind of warm but fruity floral scent that is just absolutely sophisticated and beautiful and i also used up a beauty sponge this is the penny's beauty sponge i do enjoy them i usually buy the two pack with this one and with this one oh, if i can get it and with this one when you wet them they get very soft and very kind of squishy really really nice they usually last about two months or so which is not bad they only cost like 150 or so so yeah that is going into the bin and now it is time for the makeup guys i used up so much freaking makeup i am absolutely uh stunned you know because like i'm looking at it look at this this is all makeup that i've used up <gasps> amazing okay let me start uh so this is the laritzi aloha stick that is done i tried to dig out just a little bit you know kind of to make myself feel better but yeah that is all done i did really enjoy it i can actually probably give you a swatch oh this is so hard to do uh so this is the color of that stick this was a beautiful sort of um bronzing cream bronzer i did really enjoy it damn am i going to repurchase no because i have other things on my wish list but this wasn't bad while i had it i did enjoy using it i also used up a lipstick if you have been following me and my whole collection project pan you might have known that i rolled in a uh, full-size lipstick this is the wet n wild lipstick in the shade bear it all and my goal was to finish it and i did that before the end of the year which was super exciting i use this as a um, lipstick and also as a cream blush and it worked perfectly so this is going into my makeup uh, empties for 2021 i'm going to have a full size lipstick there how amazing is that i also used up this too faced uh, hangover x primer i actually had to cut it open because when i went in to roll this into my shop my stash i pumped and actually the pump uh was uh, broken uh the product started to come out here at the side and nothing would pump like it got really defective so i decided you know i still had a good bit of it left so i cut it open dug as much as i could out of it and it turns out it was gone off <laughs> so I still use it up uh it was working fine it's kind of started to peel up there at the end and it wasn't smelling the best but i did manage to use it up it's not something that i would want to have back in my collection because it expires so quickly uh was it a year no i've had this for two years and i think it has a six month ex yeah six month shelf life so yeah I don't go through makeup very fast but this went off within like two years so yeah just so you know fyi you guys um yeah and uh, not something that i you know necessarily would want back in my collection it was fine it worked well while i had it but you know i'm glad that it's gone um oh okay let's talk about these so i got a little sampler kind of kit of the glossier cloud paints from claire from america so i got the shade dawn dusk storm and puff okay you guys i fucking love these 
these are so so good i am for sure gonna be buying puff and i am for sure gonna be buying dusk because they are so absolutely beautiful the formula is super creamy nicely pigmented not too much but it blends out so well and you can still see that color on your cheeks but it's not like overly there it's just so so gorgeous freaking love these and oh my god these are the most gorgeous gorgeous freaking um cream blushes that i had ever tried so so good another thing that from glossier that i wasn't super keen on is this uh priming moisturizer this is just fine this was very similar to the Too faced hangover x one so it was fine while i had it but it's not something that i would need in my collection I also used up these this Catrice Brow Color Semi uh, Permanent Brow Mascara. This, I thought I had a lot more left of it. Like, there is a teeny tiny bit left there at the end of the wand. But, like, when I try to freaking coat my eyebrows, like, it just doesn't really... The color payoff is not there. So, finally used up a brow mascara, a brow gel. That is incredible. I have so many of them. And, uh, yeah. Finally, this is done. And then I also used up this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. There is still a little bit left here at the side, but when it was settled here at the bottom, when I tried to pump, nothing, absolutely nothing would come out. And I can't freaking get rid of this top, like this screw, this pump to dig out the product. Like I probably have to break the glass, you know, and what's the point of that? I'm going to keep this have it back to mac so that i can get a free lipstick yep another product that i'm actually decluttering well i'm decluttering i'm keeping it for back to mac but i'm not gonna be using it ever again this is the mac retro matte lipstick in the shade red jade <sighs> you probably heard me talking about this for so long it's a beautiful color the formula is so shit, it's so sheer, and it's so dry. Oh, why did you make such a beautiful color in such a shitty formula? I don't know. And the last product is a lip liner that I finished up. This one is from uh, Pennies. This was just a red lip liner. This was in my whole collection project pen, and I managed to use this all up. I can't sharpen it anymore. But yeah, you guys. That is it for today's video. These are all of my empties. A lot of skincare, a lot of makeup, which I am so excited about. And I'm so sad about this fragrance. I freaking love this so much. I think I'm just gonna keep it here because I can still get a little bit of sniffs, you know, here and there. So I'm just gonna keep it until it actually gives up totally. But yeah, that's that, that is it. Thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.